Our next guest is a part of one of Calgary's most famous families, a member of the Hart Dynasty, and spent your entire life immersed in the professional wrestling industry. Uh, perhaps there's no woman more qualified to turn grappling into a gripping fiction novel series, and she's done just that. We're thrilled to welcome Diana Hart to Breakfast Television. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you very much for having me. We're, we love to have you and celebrating a great success here, so let's show off your book. And this is the first in a series of three, and I got my little bookmark there. So uh, this is called cauliflower heart and I want to point out as well this shiny up corner in the top corner you're actually wearing this medal so tell us about this honor that you just received oh well, thank you uh, this is the uh, readers favorite uh, silver that I won for uh, sports fiction uh, in Miami recently and uh, there were about 5,000 uh, entries for this not all in sports fiction but uh, I won the silver in sports fiction and uh, it was a huge event um, the reader's favorite uh, is, is quite a big deal for, for uh, book writers and for authors. That must feel nice to get that affirmation. Oh, absolutely. I did not expect it. I, I worked hard. I really did. Um, but I didn't expect it. Yeah. Okay. So tell us a little bit about how this came about. When did you decide to delve into the world of writing? Well, um, I moved to Florida with my son and daughter uh, uh, about oh, five years ago. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, was really lonely for everything that I was missing up here and uh, I just felt very detached from everything and I just started pouring my heart into writing like uh, it was therapy and um, as a result of that uh, I created Cauliflower Heart. Mm -hmm. and, and how much of you goes into these books? How much does, does art imitate life? Because I imagine you have uh, some really interesting real life stories to tell but you decided to go in the direction of fiction. Yeah, um, well, I think that uh, the wrestling appeals to so many people. It's like the largest watched sport in the world, uh, you know, internationally, because it hits so many countries. So um, there's a lot of people that I knew in my life, um, men and women, that <clears throat> kind of came into the characters. So there's a little bit of many people in all of the characters, uh, including myself and many of my family members. and. Uh, it's a real culmination of, um, I think, what people who know wrestling will uh, lean towards when they read it. So. Right. Have those points of recognition. Yes. Those little secret hidden gems. Yes. Can you give us some um, sort of, I mean, I know you can't spoil and the books will roll <laughs> out into next year, but can you tell us a little bit about what the journey will look like for readers and, and wrestling fans? Oh, well, sure. Um, book one is The Romantic Wrestler, and it's... Uh, uh, Claudine is the protagonist, and she's uh, married to her adopted brother, who becomes a tag team partner to her real brother, her only brother, in England. And uh, they go through their struggles from celebrity, and they reach the pinnacle of success with, to the point of, uh, of, well, it I can't say, but. Okay. Uh, and then book two is. Uh, Dealing with what has happened in book one, obviously, there, that it flows into that. Um, actually, the end of book one starts with the beginning of book two. Okay. And uh, book two is the resolution sort of to the um, tragedy in book one. And then book three is, uh, comes around to third generation. And, Interesting. Um, it's... And it all revolves around wrestling. Okay, and it looks it looks steamy, and it, it looks is. like a very interesting read. Here's the book right here, <laughs> book one. And we want to get to really quickly. You have an event involving your son coming up in a big announcement. What yes. can we reveal there? Well, it's very interesting, and I think it's going to be fantastic. My son Harry, uh, Davy Boy Smith Jr., mm -hmm. British Bulldog, is what he's wrestling as now, is wrestling my nephew Ted. So it's grandson versus grandson of. The generation, the um, third generation, my nephew Teddy Hart, um, who's a phenomenal wrestler. They are wrestling at the Ranchman's on uh, December 13th. Uh, that's a Sunday, yeah. and I'm doing an autograph session with my book for. I think a lot of the wrestlers that are appearing there are, are uh, doing autograph sessions, and um, it'll be that match alone will be uh, worth the uh, price of admission. It will be outstanding. You know, Harry does the uh, shoot fighting or submission wrestling in mm -hmm. Japan, and uh, Ted 
is uh, very familiar with that, but he does a lot of the high flying in uh, Mexico City, um, that lucha libre yes, style. Of so um, they both know each other's style, and um, I, I wish my dad was here to see it. It'll be. I know it will be amazing. I hope it's filmed. Okay, quite the show on yeah. December the 13th at Ranchman's again at 4 p.m. Continued success to you. Thank you for joining us. Thank so you very much.